The first machine resembling a unicycle was the French Pédicatre, patented by Davis in 1851. Many other designs followed, but none held public interest since the ability to ride on one wheel remained an unexplored novelty. Although the exact origin of the unicycle is still debated, the most accepted theory is that it was discovered by accident while riding a penny farthing. In 1871, British engineer James Starley invented the High Ordinary Bicycle, or Penny Farthing, because the two wheels resembled an English penny and farthing. These bicycles were very popular in the late 19th century and were also very dangerous. Many accidents ended with injury or death from what riders called taking a header or pitching forward over the wheel. This common hazard was caused by a sudden deceleration of the front wheel. Some riders who started this pitching action must have figured out how to remain balanced over the front wheel and return to normal riding. Eventually, riders discovered they could remove the frame and just ride the front wheel and handlebars. The dispensing of the rear wheel on the penny farthing probably marked the birth of the first unicycle. George Hindy, a well-known trick rider in the 1880s, is presumed to have been the first man to remove the rear wheel from a penny farthing and to have learned to ride the front wheel alone. Professional unicycle and bicycle acts became very popular in the 1890s. Early photos suggest that quite a few unicycle techniques developed from riding a penny farthing. But the end of the 19th century saw the end of cycle development, as the new safety bicycle had proven to be far superior. The first Tour de France in 1903 was a huge success. There was hardly any more demand for penny farthings or unicycles, and in the following decades, the skill of riding one or the other gradually faded into oblivion. The new bicycle even caught on with trick cyclists, and today, competitions are still held exclusively for bicycles. In the following years, the art of unicycling was mostly limited to performers who developed it into a circus skill.